Connor, I can't believe this day is finally here. I am so incredibly excited to be marrying you today and I can't wait for us to spend the rest of our lives together. From our very first date at the gun range with beer and relaxing on the roof of DTD to settling into our first house with our amazing two kitties, I am already so lucky. I'm grateful every day that I've met you. I think of all our adventures together so far, Alaska, Hawaii, Eureka, and I know there's no one else in the world I'd rather have by my side. We've already had so many firsts, but we are going to have so many more. From moves, to new jobs, to kitties, puppies, and even babies, to traveling the world together. I'm looking forward to every second. We've both been waiting so long for today, and I'm so excited. I know when I see you today, you'll be the most beautiful woman in the world. Does that mean you want me to turn around? Someone once told me that true love is the soul's recognition of its counterpoint in another. Now, if you're thinking I copied that from the movie Wedding Crashers, you're right. <laughs> but as I thought about what I was going to say tonight, I kept thinking back to those words and about how I, as Lauren's best friend, have gotten to watch her find true love in Connor. Lauren, I could not be happier to have you as my sister-in-law, and I am so, so happy you to welcome you into our family. And Connor, as your brother, I am so happy for you to have met a wonderful woman like Lauren. Cheers to both of you. We've gathered here this afternoon in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage and to witness the joining together of Lauren and Connor, asking God's blessing upon them that they might be strengthened in their life together and nurtured in their love for one another and for God. Now you will no longer choose the one you will love. The challenge for you is to love the one whom you have chosen. the day we met with so much clarity. Considering I can't even remember what I had for breakfast some days, I take that as a sign that we were meant to spend the rest of our lives together. From UCLA to Seattle to Iowa, five years later, I am so incredibly lucky to have you as my partner in life. You support me, continually make me feel calm, safe, and give me the confidence to be ready to take on the world. Lauren. I'm so proud of you and your accomplishments that I've been fortunate enough to see so far. You and our relationship has been my greatest source of support and encouragement in my life. I can only hope that I can give to you half of everything that you've already done for me. You're the most intelligent, witty, and compassionate person I have ever known. And when you smile, it brightens my entire world. I love you so much and promise to always take care of you and support you through anything life may throw at us, big or small. Today, I promise to support you, respect you, and love you through this next step in our journey together. Today, I reaffirm my commitment to be your biggest cheerleader and encourage you to be the best woman that you can be. Today, I'm happy to start calling you my wife. <laughs> These are happy tears, I promise. <laughs> Friends, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Connor and Lauren Carr.
Marriages begin when you marry the one you love, but they blossom in this garden when you love the one you marry. So tend to this garden and it will produce what sustains human life for the rest of your lives.